Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I am going to demonstrate and explain to you how you can go about using vitamin B12 injections. And if you aren't aware of why a lot of people use B12 injections instead of sublingually or orally, is because this is one of the best routes that you can go for administering B12 to correct a B12 deficiency because a lot of people have issues with absorbing B12 in supplementation form. But you bypass all those issues by injecting it. And it is not IV, it's IM, so intramuscular, rather than into a vein. And I've done this loads and loads of times, so I have a lot of experience with it. And it's something that you might feel a little bit scared about, but you, as long as you know what you're doing, and you do similar to what I'm doing in this video, then everything will be fine. So first off, you're gonna want your injections. I only recommend methylcobalamin, not cyanocobalamin, because it's made from cyanide. It's highly toxic for you. And I'll put a link down below for the website that sells these with all of the other different things that you need to administer the B12 shots. So when you open these up, they've got all the different vials in there. These are 500 microgram doses and yeah i love this brand it hasn't got a lot well it hasn't actually got any toxic substances added to it because there's quite a few out there that are highly toxic and got substances that you would not want in there so you want your vial and then what you also want is an alcohol swab to wipe the area so you make sure that you don't get an infection or anything like that and then you want a bigger needle to draw out the vitamin B12 from the vial, and I'm gonna demonstrate that to you. And this is an 18 gauge needle, and these things all come with the package that is sold, the B12 package on the website that there'll be a link for down below. And then you want the 25 gauge needle for actually injecting into the person that you're administering it to. And then obviously you need your syringe to add it to which we've got a three mil syringe here and this was all supplied to me through a pharmacy and they know exactly what different things to give me so that's how i know exactly what to be using so what you do is open your syringe like so throw that there and then with this one you tear the top of it off and then what you do is you squeeze that out of the packet there and then you're gonna have these two different sections. So there's gonna be some of the B12 in here, so what you wanna do is flick it until it all goes to in the bottom half of it, or the majority. There's a little bit stuck in there, but sometimes it gets stuck, but yeah, it's all out now, as you can see there. And the light I've got here is actually making things a bit bright, so you're not gonna see things as clearly as I can see. So let's put some of those things down so they're out of the way. But actually, I almost forgot I first, and you want to as well, so open the 25 ga gauge That's needle, or even the eight. You want to open the 18 gauge drawing needle, and you get it, it's got this little cover on so you don't hurt yourself, so it's sterile. Push it on there very tightly, like so. And then you just pull the cover off, like so. And then on here, there's a little green circle. So you hold your fingers and hand on the bottom half, put your other finger just above the circle and snap it off like so. So as you can see here, hopefully you can see quite clearly, that's how you do it. And then all you do is put the needle in there, put it into the corner of the vial so you can make sure you draw it all up into the syringe and that's it completely empty that's not going in me right no okay this is a drawing needle she's actually a bit what? nervous and a bit scared she doesn't like needles whatsoever but if you don't then you get someone like myself to do it for you rather than yourself um because yeah it could be scary for a lot of people to get injected with anything let alone doing it themselves so it's better to get someone to do it for you if you're fearful and like I told her earlier, just look away when I am doing it. So once it's all in there, take off this other needle, which, I need to start that again. And then once 
you've got all the beads over in there, you put this protective little plastic thing back over it and then you pull it off like so. You need to squeeze that quite tightly and then pull it off with some force and then all you do is get the other needle which is the 25 gauge one put it on top again push it on really hard take the plastic container protective bit of uh, material off of it and then what you want to do when you've got it in there make sure there's no air in it so don't leave no big air above it like well a big gap here make sure there's no air bubbles in there if there is air bubbles all you do is flick the needle like so and all of the bubbles will come to the surface. You may get some little bubbles stay right on the bottom at the black bit. That's like a triangle that comes up, but you don't need to be concerned about them at all. And what I'm actually doing is pushing it back up a little bit because the air bubbles that need to come up. And then I pull it all the way down and just look very closely see if there's any bubbles in it whatsoever and there is not and then all I do is push this up to the top so there's no air bubbles and again check whilst you're pushing it up because you may notice that some air bubbles form whilst pushing it up and as long as there isn't which I can't see any in there right now and I continue pushing it until a little bit the B12 comes out of the top so then I know that there's no air trapped above. And little bits just come out then. So if you open that for us, this is an alcohol swab. And you definitely want to apply this on the area. And you can put these either into your buttocks or your legs. Some people will do it in the arm region as well. But I prefer to do it on the leg. Not down here, but up the higher part of the leg and make sure that you're not looking if you're scared and make sure that you <laughs> thoroughly wipe the area like I am doing so here wait wait what just nervous <laughs> and yeah if you've got someone that's nervous be aware of that this time. but yeah just make sure that you breathe deeply in through your nose and out through your mouth to slow down your heart rate and actually make you go into less of an adrenaline response where cortisol is going high as well, makes you go into a stress response and a fear state. So it's something to be aware of. So look that way and just close your eyes. Ah! Ow! It hurts more this time. And done. Oh. That was it. And yeah, some people are gonna think that it's painful. Some people will think that it's not. For me, it doesn't really bother me at all, but we are all different. It's just reaction, mostly. Yeah, and, it, and most of it's coming from the mind. Yeah. But she's completely fine. It was all done safely. She's got a little bit of bleeding going on there, which some people will bleed, some people won't, but you could just wipe it off with the alcohol swab, and you could just hold that there. And that is it, done. And yeah. You may be wondering, why would someone want to take B12? Well, so many people who have a B12 deficiency, whether you're on a vegan diet, a keto diet, a carnival diet, whatever type of diet, it's a major issue with so many people in the world. And when you have a B12 deficiency, it can cause insomnia, fatigue, irreversible nerve damage if a loss left long enough. It's also key to have optimal cognitive function, immune function, and for me, Personally, as someone that trains on a regular basis, I really want to be making sure that I don't have deficiency and have enough B12 being in my body so I can have the most optimal sports performance and energy levels that I possibly can and the best strength as well. So if you're someone that's into training, you want to optimize your training and sports performance, you really want to be taking some B12 on a regular basis and if you're someone that wants to make sure that you are going to be absorbing the B12 supplement you're using, objections are the best way to go. And make sure after you've used it that you dispose of it safely. A lot of people will take it to a hospital 
to dispose of it there and make sure that you do put the protective cover back on. And for me personally, I absolutely love using these and I do administer them to myself. Like I said, it can be a little bit fearful and scary for you to do so. But as long as you follow the steps in this video, you can do it without any worries whatsoever. Well, you may be worrying, but when you actually know what you're doing, the worry may come up, but you know that you can trust in yourself that you can do it safely and effectively. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, I'll leave them down below. And if you want to check out lovely Janessa's YouTube channel, there'll be a link down below for it. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. We don't mind. And please share this video with anyone that you think would like to learn about how to safely inject a B12 through the IM method. Like I said, not IV whatsoever. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a weekly basis. And the type of videos you can expect to get from me are supplementation videos, calisthenics workout and progression videos, what I eat and what I do in a day videos, and many other different videos to help you gain and obtain the body desired fitness levels and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace. Duh. Oh, that hurt way more than the last time. I don't know why. Oh.